So there's three classic structures to microeconomic models. You'll see these throughout a microeconomics course in different setups. Really, it's the same model, um, but it just takes different forms depending on what you're talking about. So um, I believe the most classic is maximizing benefit minus cost. Of course, cost-benefit analysis is what economists spend much of their careers doing. And this is going to be represented most classically in the maximizing profit function because the benefit in that case is revenue. The cost is the cost to the firms. So that's where you'll see this most often in a microeconomics course. But in my classic grades model or time spent studying model, I also use the benefit minus cost model. And really this is just a super useful um, setup for any type of economic modeling. And then of course we're going to have maximized benefit subject to a constraint. And this is actually where the textbook starts off. So this is going to be a maximized utility, for example, subject to a budget constraint. But there can be other setups. For example, you could maximize the amount you get done subject to a time constraint. You can have all kinds of constraints. Um, <clears throat> at the end of the course, we'll see this when we look at social welfare functions. For example, a government may maximize social welfare to, of the people subject to a constraint on how much money that government has to spend, for example. Um, so there's lots of different ways this can show up. And then cost minimization um, subject to a constraint is also something else that you'll see occasionally. For example, in this course, this might be a firm that has signed a contract that they will provide a certain service. Maybe they're going to provide the catering to your wedding, or maybe they've signed a contract that they're going to build a building. And so they're going to minimize the cost of fulfilling their obligations in the contract. So the constraint is what they're contractually obligated to provide. And the cost, of course, is what they're trying to minimize. So um, this is just one way of thinking about the different models that you'll see throughout the microeconomics course.